Hi, I'm going to play Nuvole Bianche by Ludovico Rinaudi. Um, I still haven't learned it perfectly, but I hope you still enjoy it. Um, this is like my third day with this Yamaha Portable Grand DGX 670. Um, it really has a really nice weight to the keys. It feels like you're playing a real piano and it sounds very much like a piano in my opinion. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope I don't mess it up. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Let me get this one because it's a lot of pages. Okay, here we go.
think that's the first time ever that I've actually played it without messing up. I am in shock. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I can actually upload it um, because of the quality and everything. And again, uh, this is the second time that I actually play the song on this keyboard and it feels amazing. If you're looking for like a keyboard that actually has a really good weight, that it responds quickly, that it has a clear sound, um, and very similar to, you know, a real piano, this Yamaha Portable Grand DGX 670 is great. Like, I've only had it for a couple of days, but it makes a really big difference from other uh, pianos that are, I mean, digital pianos who, that are like a hundred bucks cheaper, 200 bucks cheaper, you can actually hear that difference between them, like between quality. Uh, and I've been playing piano since I was nine, 10 years old. Um, so I, I'd like to think that my ear is pretty highly tuned. And my only issue so far is that um, this uh, letter, I mean the letter, the note B, seems to have a lot of reverb um, in comparison to other ones, especially when I'm playing. There's a lot of reverb to it, and I'm not sure if it's all the Yamahas or if it just happens to be my keyboard that has that. And I am going to contact Yamaha and and figure that out because it could be just my design. I mean, my this one, the piano's design, or it could also be uh, the location where it's at and maybe the way that the sound is bouncing off the, the ceiling. So that's something I'm going to check out and test before I can say anything completely official. But yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you for listening and feel free to like, comment, share. Um, as I said, I'm not a professional, but I love to play and I'm so happy to um, have the opportunity to play this piano. And uh, yeah, if you can, save up and save up for a good one. Uh, that's what I did and so far it's been worth every penny and... And if it's between, like, this is my, my personal opinion, but if it's between getting something cheaper and then, you know, you not having something with a, a good quality, um, I would wait and save a little bit more because when you play a keyboard, especially, whose weight just feels kind of, like, empty, like, the keys feel empty, that'll affect your, um, the way that you play now and in the future, like, if you ever want to switch over to a piano, the transition will be a little more difficult because you actually have to develop that strength in your fingers. I also teach piano, so I this would I the advice that I would give to a student most definitely would be that you know if you want to be a serious piano player, get something that has weight like a piano. Otherwise, your fingers just won't be strong enough. But yeah, thank you for watching. I <laughs> I'm Constanza or Goni or Constanza, depending on. Uh, where you're from and it's nice to have you here. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna stop the video anytime now. <laughs> Bye guys.